Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Race Face Spotlight. Today, we're going to be going up to and over to the west a little bit to pass Agola, Mississippi. And Cole, I hope I said that right, but how are you doing this evening? Really good. How about you, Mr. Rod? I'm doing fine, man. I mean, what, what better could I be than to be talking to you on a Thursday night? <laughs> That's pretty cool. So for people that maybe haven't had a chance to meet Cole yet, um, Cole is one of the top bandolero drivers in the country, and he drives the number 46 mellow yellow um, bandolero. And, and Cole, I got to ask you something, because your real name is Nicholas. You go by Cole. Where did the nickname Cole come from? Well, when I was four years old, uh, Santa Claus brought me a go-kart that was a Melly Yellow 46 car. <laughs> and I loved the movie Days of Thunder. So when I got to the track, I said, well, since it's the Cole Trickle Melly Yellow car, and well, at the time, my nickname was Nico. But when I got to the track, everyone would call me Cole because I had the Cole Trickle lookalike car. Awesome. I love it, man. And I love that nickname better than the other nickname, just so you know. <laughs> We're on the same page. So I, I know that um, when we first came on, I was just like, man, you are so dressed up. And I think this has to do with your love of airplanes. You, you love being a racer, but you also have a love of airplanes. I've seen all kinds of pictures of you sitting in the pilot seat and and I actually even told your parents one day, I'm like, man, I'm going to come hang out with him. He gets to go to a lot of cool places. So, so tell us what was going on before you got on this interview. Well, before I was flying a Beechcraft Baron um, all over Georgia. And since I was flying an airplane, I wanted to dress up like a pilot because I've been missing it since I've been out of town for so long. So I dressed up like a pilot. Well, that's pretty cool. So let me ask you something. You're on this flight simulator. Do you, does that mean you can basically fly that thing anywhere you want? Yes, sir. I can fly it all over the world. All right. Well, I want you to do something. I want you to buzz my house one day. I'm going to send you my address. Can you buzz over? I sure can. All right. I'm going to be standing out in the front yard waving at you. <laughs> all right. Okay. So let's let's get let's get into some racing statistics right now. Um, you've got an unbelievable season going on right now um you you participated in 43 total races already this year you've got 15 wins you have 22 podiums 32 32 top fives and 43 starts and you're currently ranked number three nationally in the bandoleros do you have to pinch yourself every once in a while and say how did i get here or are you happy with that or you want to do better? Oh, I'm really excited with that. My goal this year was a top five, not top three. So I'm above my goal. Well, that's good, man. That is that is awesome. So out of all these wins and everything, what's your favorite track? Well, right now, my favorite track is a road course and it is Atlanta Motorsports Park. It's in North Georgia. All right. So why do you like the road course? Well, it's a nice facility, and I love the turn one because it's a, a non-banked left 90-degree turn, and it's super fun because you're on the chip, and then you have to hit the brakes almost to a stop to turn left. That's why I like it. Awesome. That's good that you're getting good at, at road racing because, as we all know, whether you're racing ARCA or the trucks or Xfinity or, or NASCAR Cup, we're constantly adding more road course races. So getting getting a good background in road, road racing is a good thing. Now, I, I'm going I'm to spring something on you. I, I understand that you were at FIRM this, this past weekend. What was that like? It was really fun. Um, it was the first time they'd ever done that road course series at that track. So it was a, we were basically the guinea pigs, they said. So we had to learn the tracks and set the records for times and everything. So you were basically a pilot for the testing at, at firm. So how did you do? I did pretty good. I had some fast times, set the track record. 
Um, didn't finish very well the first three races, but I did pull off two fourth place finishes, but sadly one DNF because um, my brakes weren't working very well. They would go out pretty much midway through the race. I would overshoot the turn and I would run the same line I would every lap, but that time it just didn't work. But finally, I was able to pull off the win on the last race after my dad got the uh, piston fixed in the brake caliber. The yeah, brakes are a good thing at a road course, huh? They sure are, because this track there's like 20 turns and a bunch of slow, where you're going from top speed all the way to slow speed. So it's pretty crazy. Awesome, awesome. So let's talk about some of the places that you have raced. And you, you'd already mentioned Atlanta Motor Speedway. You're at Lanier Motor Speedway. We just talked about firm. And, but you are dominant, dominant at Chris Motorsports Park. What makes you so good at that track? Well, I was actually going there to get practice for Lanier the last half of the um, Thursday Thunder. But when I got there, I was doing so good being able to run on those Hoosier tires. Them Hoosier tires, I think, made me a little bit faster because of the way I drive. And I was getting practice and was getting better. And eventually I'm like, well, I'm doing so good at Chris. Might as well keep my points lead and keep going back. So I did. Well, you've been killing it there. So let's just talk about some of your highlights here. Um, you're the concurrent Bandolero points leader, definitely at Chris Motorsports Park, and you got a big lead there. You won the Lanier Summer Series Bandit Championship. You're, you were second in the Fall Five at Atlanta Motor Speedway. You were fourth in Thursday Thunder at Atlanta Motor Speedway, which is an amazing accomplishment in my book. And you finished sixth in the East Bandit World Championship at Charlotte Motor Speedway. So how cool has it been to be able to go race at all of these kind of iconic places and places where I know that, you know, if you are able to reach your goals, that someday you'll be back there in a stock car. Well, it's just been amazing that I was able to do so good at nationals and pull off the Lanier Summer Series Championship. It's just been amazing because I had no expectations to win in all this stuff that I had been. So it's been pretty awesome. Yeah, it has been awesome. I think you've done a great job. So let, let's talk a, a little bit about Cole off the track. So what is your favorite subject in school? Well, right now it's math because my parents are both mathematicians and I'm really good at math. So I like it because I can do it really quick and easy and fast so I can get it done quick. Get it done quick. So let me ask you, I know uh, all over the country, especially even the race-based drivers, some are actually physically going to school and some are doing school online. Which one are you participating in? I'm doing physical school, but I'm homeschooled. I don't go to a classroom every day and go to a school. So I'm just homeschooled. Well, that's pretty cool because that really fits into your racing schedule, doesn't it? Yes, sir. It really does. <laughs> so that was like, you could kind of like take the school on the road with you. Exactly. That's that's why we started doing homeschool last year, so we could travel more and go to more races so we wouldn't have to worry about school that much. Yeah. And, you know, the one thing that I've learned about young race car drivers, it's almost like your closest friends, your buddies, everybody that you like to hang out with are other race car drivers. Is that the same with you? Yes, sir. Um, pretty much all my friends are race car drivers. There's only a couple that's not race car drivers, but all the ones that are race car drivers, they're usually at all the tracks. So I have a good time with them. You have a good time with them. Well, that's pretty cool. So speaking of good times, I understand that you're quite the dancer. <laughs> yes, sir. So where did that come from? Um, I liked 80s music and I would always sing it. And eventually I got into dancing to it. So I just learned how the music was and then I learned how to dance to it so by the beat so I got to ask you a question now this is the time that it, it who's the dancer in your family is it your mom or is it your dad my dad your dad oh that's cool now I know a secret about him that's awesome so Cole in kind of wrapping up this interview um I think I know the answer to this 
But what is Cole's long-term goal? So let's say that you're, you're 11 years old now. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So when you're 15, to give you four years, what do you want to be doing when you're at the age of 15? I'm thinking maybe super late models or pro late models. Pro or super late models. Okay. So let's advance another four years. Now you're, now you're 19. Where do you want to be when you're 19 years old? Maybe um, last few seasons of ARCA or maybe a truck series. Awesome. You've got, your, you've got this down pretty pat. So let's go four more years. You're 23 years old. Where do you see Cole Denton in, in, at the age of 23? Probably my first or second season of the Cup Series, I'm hoping. Oh, man, that, those are amazing goals. You know what? I think you got what it takes to make it there. So um, is there any sponsors you want to give a shout out tonight to? Um, race Face, Brand Development, um, and a shout out to FOJ. And that's about it. All right. Friends of Jacklin Foundation. That's really cool. I know that all of you race face drivers are participating in the uh, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and you're all walking for some, some kids, which is really, really cool. So I appreciate you doing that. Well, Cole, good luck the rest of the season. We're going to look forward to getting back with you later in the year for another one of these interviews. And so for anybody that has not um, been following Cole, you can go to Cole Nation Racing. I think that's what your Facebook handle is, right? Yes, sir. Cole Nation Racing. And he's got a brand new website that we're going to have up here in the next week or so. So you can go to coledentonracing.com. Make sure when you're there to go to the fan zone and sign up for his digital newsletter. He's going to have some hero cards to give away. And again, Cole, thank you for being with us this evening. We look forward to hearing back from you later this year. And for all of you that are watching out there, thanks for watching. My name's Rod Wortham. That young kid is Cole Denton. Make sure to mark him down because you're going to be hearing a lot from him in the future. Can you believe he's only 11 years old and what he's already been accomplished? So again, thanks for watching this episode of Race Face Spotlight. We'll see you back here in two weeks.